The challenges of the past decades and the rapid digitalization impacted our way of working and the way companies organize themselves. A lot is changing, a lot is uncertain, and this resulted in a transformation of the digital workplace. But what is that exactly, and why is it relevant to think about your workplace strategy? Welcome to this Capgemini Invent Talks, the first in a short series about digital workplace and innovation. I'm talking today with two of our digital workplace and innovation experts, Peter Popov and Stef Prop. And if I may start with you, Peter, what do we actually mean when we're talking about digital workplace? Digital workplace. It's funny, you make it seem like it's the predecessor of the matrix, which is not. It's not that scary. In essence, the digital workplace is our first, first step to take work beyond the borders of the physical office. And due to recent times, people often think it's working with Microsoft Teams, for example. But it's not only about the technology. The digital workplace is also about the way we work together, the, polit the policies companies set for us employees to work in, it's also about the leadership culture. Uh, how do you steer a remote workforce? And also the culture for the employees themselves. How do we interact? How do we collaborate in this new digital workplace? Um, and because of that, I think the digital workplace is only the first step in revolutionizing our way of work, not the final stage. And can you tell me, Steph, uh, what does the development of the digital workplace mean for employers and employees? Right. So. Um Employees and employers. Let's start with employees, people first. Um, every human has different needs, right? The way you like to work, the way Peter likes to work, the way our colleagues like to work may differ vastly. So a human-centered design is, is essential. Customization, personalization. Um, that is the anytime, anywhere, any device, right? Employers, on the, on the other hand, uh, organizations, um, uh, being it private organizations or public institutions, uh, want to be effective to create value for, for whatever purpose they, to, they try to serve. Uh, so that is, that is in, all, in any case quite important. But even more important is talent. So with a digital workplace, you basically have access to an untapped potential uh, all across the globe, being it a programmer in Buenos Aires, a UX designer in South Africa, or a program lead from Tokyo with a certain skill set. These people you can now reach using the digital workplace remotely, right? Um, but even more importantly, the war for talent. It is really difficult to find the right people who want to work in your organization. Um, so you need to create the circumstances for employees to want to come and work at your organization. And that's why customization and human centricity is vital. And that's also the promise we bring to our clients, right? We we say that we believe we can create an environment in which anybody can be extraordinary. Right. And uh, given the right attributes, given the right technology, also the right leadership, anybody can be extraordinary. Can you elaborate on that promise? Yeah, of course. Um, like Steph said before, the digital workplace is about working securely anytime, anywhere, on any device, which actually makes, makes a certain transformation. We go from telling our employees, we want you to do the best you can with the, within these set time frames, within these four walls, with these colleagues swarming around you that you get for free, towards, we want you to add value to our customers, to our company, to our society, and eventually to our world. But do that in an environment in which you feel most creative, you, most, you feel most able to add value. For example, uh, for myself, I'm very creative before 7 a.m. It's a short period of time, but I'm very creative. Then I can do workshops, I can collaborate with people until the afternoon, but then I, I'm ready for a snack. That doesn't have to be at the office, that can be anywhere. And in the late afternoon, I only do administra administrative work because, well, my creativity has been drowned a little bit. But then in the evening, I can write poetry, for example, because I get creative again. For some other people, that means like working on the Kilimanjaro or sailing on the Adriatic Sea and developing a new business model. And the digital workplace allows you to do that, allows you to be, to fulfill your purpose and to add value uh, at the place and the time that you want. Right, and, and add that perspective to an organization of 100 to multiple thousands, and you see that that extraordinary value really can be delivered by enabling uh, people to yeah. work that yeah. way. But Steph, how can organizations start transforming? Right, so um, uh, we have a, a framework, a model uh, with three phases, uh, starting with the fundaments. 
Afterwards, you have an advanced phase, and then we really get to the extraordinary. Starting with the fundamentals, uh, of course, you need a technological uh, uh, platform in place to perform. Um, that is really necessary, and then we need to start with basic adoption and basic way of work, the, the habits and rituals you have around that. Fundamental, right? So the second uh, phase really builds upon that fundamental layer, right? Uh, it starts with uh, collaborating in a different way. It's really a collaboration perspective. It starts uh, the, the way of work. You want to work agile. Uh, you want to work hybrid. Right? Uh, Data-driven decision-making and predictions. Um, you want to build communities and leverage the community building to do knowledge sharing. Uh, content, automatic content creation and spreading that worldwide. There's, there are many uh, uh, things you can build on top to leverage uh, uh, that platform and create more value. And then the third phase is what we call the extraordinary phase. This is really surrounding two topics. It's around innovation and technology. So, Using that platform, you can plug in new uh, technologies, new ways of, uh, of, of, of using technology to, to, to work better. So we work, uh, we look uh, all across the world and see how that kind of way, uh, that technology might be helpful. Let's plug it in. And then inside out, innovation is really a driver uh, for, 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 organizational, uh, for organizations to stay relevant, to get a competitive advantage. And that's where you can really utilize that platform to yeah. create extraordinary results. Uh, well, thank you for these uh, insights, and thank you for being here. Um, so, if you want to win the war on talent, take care of your employees and achieve great organizational results, please get in touch. In the next video, we'll dive deeper into the topic of innovation and how that is related to the digital workplace. For now, thank you for watching to this Capgemini event talks, and see you next time. <music>